Good morning students. Dear students, today we will learn how to solve sums of division. Students, I am having six toffees and I have to divide these toffees among these three children equally. So my dear students, from these six toffees, I will give one one toffee to yes, each child. Now, my dear students, after giving these three toffees, we are left with three toffees. Now, I will give, yes, these three toffees one by one to each child. So, students, after dividing equally, we are left with no toffee and no toffee means zero. And after dividing equally, each child got two, two toffees. So, my dear students, you can see when we divided six toffees equally among three children, each child got two toffees. So, here is the result. Six. Divided by 3 is equal to 2. Now, my dear students, we have to place these four flowers in these two vases equally. So, my dear students, see, firstly, I am placing one flower in the first vase and one flower also in the second vase. And now, we are left with, yes, two flowers. Now, to divide equally, I will place, yes, one flower in the first vase again and one flower in the second vase again. So, dear students, we have placed four flowers equally in the two vases and can you see any flower here? No. And no means yes. Zero. So, we have divided equally four flowers in these two vases. That means when four flowers were placed equally in two vases, each vase got, yes, two flowers. So, here is the result. Four divided by two is equal to two. Now, question for pass. According to the given picture, what will you do to divide apples equally among five children? Students, you can see there are 20 apples given in the picture. And if we have to divide these apples equally among five children, we will do division. So, here are the options. Option A, 20 plus 5. It is not correct. Option B, 20 minus 5. It is not correct. Option C, 20 multiplied by 5. It is also not correct. So, the right option for our question is option D. That is 20 divided by 5. In the homework, dear students, solve the sums given at page number 107 of your maths book. Thank you.